the lines. I just love where the emotion is in the vocals when you're in the most emotional parts of the song. All right, today I'm checking out Sarah McLachlan. I'm listening to her cover of Dear God. Let's get into it. in this and it's like where the most emotional parts are you know what i mean it's like when i when she says i can't believe in you like dude i can't believe in you like the vocals get a little you know they get a little inflection in there which could kind of feel like shaky or something you know what i mean feel like very emotional part and then the in the devil too is like in the devil too you know we can rewind it we can hear that little part again it wouldn't hurt anything you know what i mean but there the it's like just certain points in the song, you get the really emotional vocal inflections and it just goes perfectly with the topic. I mean, the whole song is emotional, really. You know what I mean? But when you get to say, I can't believe in you, that's a different emotion than saying, you know, oh, I'm not talking about the price of beer. So it's like, there's different lines that are way more emotional than other lines. And I just love where the emotion is in the vocals when you're in the most emotional parts of the song. But I like this version. You know, this is a nice vibey cover. The original is nice and vibey too. I couldn't compare, this is different. They're very different. I wouldn't want to compare them. I like them both for different reasons.
That was goosebumpy. Oh my goodness. Perfect. Beautiful. Ooh, there was a lot of emotion in that when she crushed it. She absolutely crushed that cover. I just love the vocals and the emotion in the vocals. You heard from the pearly gates, like the way she emphasized that, the thorny crown, like, you know what I'm saying? Something, whatever at the end when she's talking about some unholy hoax, like the vocals got really, this unholy, they got a little bit more aggressive. You know, she was pissed off. You know what I mean? That kind of thing, in the other part, she sound hurt or something, like just the vocals sound like she was, Genuinely hurt over the condition of the world. And if there is some kind of the sky, why aren't you doing something about it, big guy? You know what I mean? It's like that. But she was really hurt. And other point, she was mad. She wrecked fight God. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. It's like, I don't know. The vocals alone was like a whole play. You know what I mean? That's my favorite thing about this one. But then there was a part towards the end when the guitar and the vocals were kind of pairing really. And I was like, oh, okay. There goes the guitar. There goes the music with the vocals. But most of the time, it was mainly like the vocals. You know what I'm saying? Kind of just. Just drinking. Those vocals are good. Those are those are goosebumpy kind of vocals, especially the ending. But yeah, dang, dang, that that was a really good cover. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like I don't know. 